the most difficult thing is coming in to a band where people love the guy that was there before mm. because basically for me and i spoke to tim ripper owens about this mm. and it's a a similar feeling that they've just lost their girlfriend mm. right who they were in a great relationship with uh wasn't too needy and mm. they had all the fun they ever wanted with that girlfriend it suited them just right she's gone mm -hmm. right and what's worse you've got a new girlfriend now that you didn't choose <laughs> all right but she's there and she's your new girlfriend <laughs> wow so that is the equivalent of replacing a lead vocal in my mind mm -hmm. it's so emotional and you know voices are so different in most cases things are so different um and so th that's it and i think that's a lot of the pressure is that people don't want you they never chose you but they've got to kind of go all right well i'll give this new relationship a chance mm. or they'll stay and go no i don't want this i don't care what it's like i just don't want it mm -hmm. right and, and and that's what you're faced with then there's another section of people who will be going you know i i never wanted this i can't wait for this guy to mess up whether that's brian or tim ripper owens or me or anybody else who joins any kind of establishment i can't wait for that guy to mess up and then there's another bunch of people who go you know what i'm gonna give this a chance it could work something good could come out of this let's see what it's like before we kick her out of bed <laughs> and uh and that's it really and then all of your interviews you're the only one that anybody wants to speak to because you're the only new one mm. so you are the news so you do every interview that, that's crazy when i spoke to bruce dickinson about it you know i've been friends with bruce for a long time i knew him well before maiden and uh, bruce said to me he said blaze i don't know how you did all those interviews it's <laughs> insane he said i never did that many interviews and i was on the promotion tour with dave murray and he said this is the toughest promotion tour i've ever done he's been in the band over 20 years <laughs> you know and this is the toughest one so i think there would have been an element of that for brian when he joined in the end though you stand and fall with the songs mm. and if you've got songs of the quality that are on back in black then you've got a real chance because they kind of are hypnotic and they've got the raw elements that i love acdc for they've also got a slightly different feeling but not too different that pushes me away so uh, 